Okay, so I'm going to watch Bill and Ted face the music. I love the first one, obviously. It's in my top 100 or something, or 200, somewhere in there. Um, I watched it a million times when I was a kid. Not kid, kid. I was in high school. Yeah, the beeps are still going. And um, I would take them out if the open shot or whatever it's called, editor was working right, it's not, so I'm trying to use the other one, which is way more complicated, and I don't know how to do it, but, um, so I'm going to do one of my review reaction thingies over here, um, we'll see how it goes, that's too much me, right, I should be, that's still too much me, whatever, I'll put it on in a second. It's PG-13. I was expecting a hard R. Not really. I'm not even sure that I knew Orion was still a company. Hammerstone Studios. What's that? Ready, B? Oh, that's Ready the music to. from... Okay. Okay, anyway. This is the story of our most excellent dads. Oh, oh this is about their kids instead of them. No, really, why do I need the kids telling me this? This is already pissing me off. Fucking shit, this world. So the children said that time is folding in on itself. They're doing weddings. They're wedding singers in San Diego. Looks like they have the same kind of tux on that um, Adam Sandler did in the wedding singer. Keanu looks really old like that. First, she was our babysitter when we were ten. Oh no! Then we What's his face from Saturday Night Live? When she was a senior and we were freshmen. Is that the same actress that played Missy? Bill and I, along with my beautiful wife Elizabeth and our daughter Billy, and my beautiful wife Joanna, and our daughter Thea. No, it's Hugo Weaving. All want to again. welcome you back. With I'm just, arms. all these kids, the second generation, I'm just going to call them so-and-so's whatever. I'm not going to call them by their right name. Sorry. Nepotism. There's nothing wrong with throat singing. But what is with the makeup on this movie? Because whoever has done the makeup, like regular makeup on their faces, has made these guys who are like 50s look 70s. <laughs> I like bagpipes. I don't know why I'm surprised that Keanu's still fun. <laughs> it seems like he hasn't been fun for, what, 30 years? Jeez. All right, it's not easy being unemployed, so shut up. <laughs> they need to send the wives away for this couple's therapy, because they're unnecessary. I mean, they married them. They know they're hetero life mates, like, you know, Jane, Silent Bob. I don't... Whatever. You should have married somebody else then. I don't get why this is a problem. Oh, Honestly, <laughs> they're buddies. Leave them. I'm just, I don't know. Joanna, would I hate you this world. Elizabeth like this? Yeah. But they did leave them there. <laughs> Honestly. And they didn't come all this way for this. Just gotta I'm get rid of them. They're causing good. problems. But isn't that the problem? The kids are annoying. So, Uncle Bill, the singing Nobody thing, has children that are complete replicas, replicas of them so personality-wise. This Ted's kid is like. Bob and Lindy are their fans. <laughs> Come on, man. They got more fans than that, I'm sure. Yeah, I had to hawk a couple of guitars. Not funny. But I wasn't meant to save the world with my music, like Ted. I can't even play them. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that Cheetos product placement. Who the hell is here? that? I'm Kelly. That girl that came out of the egg. I know she's like famous on yeah, some show. I don't know her. And I've been wanting to meet you my whole life. Music. I'm really not enjoying their children. I want them to go away. <laughs> this future Sam Demas looks like um that place they went in Guardians of the Galaxy to get the thing or protect. They were gonna leave the thing there. The um. <laughs> So they were going to leave it there yeah. to protect it. And I don't remember the name of that place, but that's what this looks like. Okay, here's another pet peeve of mine. I don't like using deceased people in movies without their permission. You know, like, um, remember when they used to have those Humphrey Bogart Diet Coke commercials? 
stuff like that. I'm not a fan. I have to get this song done by tonight. Okay. Wait. Hey, destiny's I'm destiny. Sorry. If it's supposed what? to happen, it's gonna happen. <laughs> what? Say... I always thought Alex Winter could have played Stallone's oh. kid. He looks older than him now, though. I don't know what the hell happened. How does this I don't know what MP46 is. That I can't tell you, but it has to somehow. The great turntable is to me what that there is the center of space. San Dimas, 700 years ago, 7.17 p.m. My father believed that the song would be the nexus point that brings humanity into rhythm and harmony. So what if it doesn't? Don't put all that pressure on them. Dude, let the world end. <laughs> Sorry, but this is the best version of Keanu. I don't care what it is. <laughs> You need all that kicking and all that training and not no really. Ted the Earl Logan's the best. I just don't know what's going on with the makeup here. The point is they dyed his hair pitch black without the grays, and it's making him look weird. They ran from themselves. That's kind of funny. Dude, I think we came too early. These other buses don't have the song. Seriously, I want it. instead of trying to steal it from us. You're the one who lost his wife. This Ted. is like me talking to myself in the house. What? What are you talking about? Looking for just one life where they could be happy with you. And guess what? They didn't find one. Oh, come They're on. They're nice guys. Years. They should be happy. It's terrible. No way. Yes way. No, my like friend is <laughs> gone for 2 years and you didn't do anything about it? Oh, you did all right. You went back and you made it worse. And guess what else? <laughs> Your daughters won't even talk to you. What? You no, know, that's good. It's like the whole background sky and everything CGI because it looks really artificial. Like they're in the phone booth and they're just, you know, out in the parking lot and the whole outside looks fake. Which we don't need to live in that world. The death of Bill and Ted brings the new. Well, maybe someday when you're the great leader. You know what sucks? Why not? So is that like the death guy? But oh my god. In a robot form? Didn't he just tell himself that they went back in time and made it worse? So aren't they going back in time and making it worse right now? you don't even drink. Okay, let's start for a moment and take notice of the diet. Don't go because you're not going to find one. We love you guys. We're going to fix it. It's too quiet in this. I'm not talking like it needs to be. I'm saying like sometimes movies are like that, and again that's because they're in the studio, like green screen, whatever. But you know, too quiet. Wait, why are they British now? Those bike pants. Cheers. Oh my God, those bike pants are killing me. So, uh, why do you both have English accents? Ah, funny story. Once Bill and I were united, things got so good with Liz and Joe that we decided as families to start summering evil England. Mm. And I suppose it just bloody well rubbed off. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, didn't I hear the song years ago when they were in the place? And now it's time to get it out to the world. <laughs> So long, I guess. Thanks. Yeah. So long. <laughs> Hell yeah. Marvelous. Dead. Put yourself, dude. Yeah, why? Why? British Joe from the future, kind of gay. We got the song. This is Jack Sparrow. It is Grohl. It is Dave Grohl. That's his house. No, 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 uh -oh. no, no, no. <laughs> I knew they were faking somehow. Dave Grohl did. Doesn't mean we should be I mean, punished for that. It from Dave Grohl. Did they have a whole you know, SWAT team for Bill and Ted. This ends now. The lies, the delusions. I'm done with oh, that's them. I'm done with both of them. You're not gonna kill he was a cop. He broke into Dave Grohl's house. Yeah, it's slowed out. I was hoping they weren't remember that this time. They're gonna do the thing. No one leaves the building. Seven minutes. Just, like, time does not work that way. Oh no. Oh, there's the deaf guy. Okay. But you can't say no to this man. Mr. Jimi Hendrix, meet Mr. Louis Armstrong. Well, that lick you played was the Catch Me Out Man. It's blues, but also... Uh, this New York starts a bit off. Blues, young ladies, uh, <laughs> which supports both that we're putting together a most extraordinary band. Oh, I really yeah, don't like this we girl. We are doing so by traveling all throughout time. I mean, Ted's oh, kid. I probably great. should... Yeah, I'm going to get in trouble for saying the wrong word. The story is isn't bad. The execution's kind of faulty. They had to go back and get Mota instead of Beethoven. Those kids are so annoying. I'm so <laughs> Next and wait. Okay, the robot saying most non triumphant is funny. Out of time. She's gonna be in their band, even though nobody speaks her language. Okay. Some prehistoric drummer. Whatever. I got bored and started walking around. I don't know why they're talking to their deathbed cells or whatever. They're nice boys. Nursing home yeah. cells. Present, like now. Death robots Look, there. We know you were sent here to kill us if you didn't have the song. But we actually do have the song now, so Wait, you have the song? <laughs> You're forgiven, no Who's problem. But we gotta go, robot dude. Wait, no, must Thanks. Wait. What? What are you talking about? He murdered their family. I lasered your daughters. You lasered them? You lasered our daughters? I guess I was gone for longer than I thought. Daughters About like five minutes. In hell. You they belong in hell because they were annoying. The hell? We have to go get them. Shoot us! I can't shoot you. You want the song? Well, guess what? Now there's oh, no, no song. man. Now you got no choice. Kill us. Not for them broad. Wow, them children. The robot killed himself. It worked. Yeah. Come on, robot. Hey, I have a name. It's Dennis. Dennis McCoy. Okay, let's go, Dennis. Come on, Dennis. McCoy. Mia! Billy! Dennis Caleb McCoy. That's the, the Let's go, All right. dude! Oh, I feel 
Who's playing the robot? So Killing Bill and Ted didn't fix it. Hugo Weaving's well, you know, niece, anyway. Is she supposed help. to be a teenager in this? Because she seems older. Yeah, I saw her in that wife murder movie. Yeah. Whatever it was, the wedding murder movie. I was wrong. You're here, which implies that you also traveled through time and, and that your wives actually are princesses, all of which proves that it is imperative. You His dad belongs in Hollywood. Song that we, and I should help you instead of criticizing you. And I am very, very, very sorry. Yeah, there's something wrong with the direction of this because the, the yeah, thanks, you know, Logan. dialogue and stuff and you, the robot and all stuff, it's a good idea, cool. but the execution is bad. Well, Dex, this is the band we put together for you. It's a great honor to meet you all. Welcome to Sorry About Hell. My bad. Uh, well, that's Dennis Caleb McCoy. I like uh, Mozart's reaction to Dennis. I'm really sorry that I lasered you all. And I just need to tell you my name. My name is Dennis Caleb McCoy. And I just want to say 19 minutes. Everyone follow us. 19 minutes. Hey, I used to play hopscotch by myself. These girls were totally unnecessary. Bill and Ted could have went and got those rock stars and whatnot. Just need to talk to you, Dad. Talk to the head. Just need to talk to you, Dad. It'll only take a second, dude. Come on, dude. Oh, God, they gotta insert these kids everywhere. We didn't want to sue you, dude. To take the name Wild Stallions. I was Wild Stallions. What are you talking about? You kicked me out because you was jealous of me. No, 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 that no, band no, shit. Where is somebody? The oh, they're the always suing you over the name. Dude, you were See, this is what I'm saying. This solo. is funny. No, but but was in the groove. What? Those 40 minute solos. That was the highlight of your shows. It's no wonder you went down in the tubes. So the script is good. Uh, and Bill and Ted are fine. You know, Keanu went out to winter. This guy forgot the reason we Bye. What now? I don't know, dude. Dads, we have an idea. You mind if we try? I mean, the dude is the most rat bass player, like, ever. Yeah. Please. Why are they acting like that, though? Come it's on. like... Whoever told these kids to act like this is really... Is really trying to ruin this movie entirely. Dads. Dads, it's outside. just... Did the younger people enjoy that? people their age but in other parts the outro and I'll never be loved is the most audacious <gasps> I mean the last three bars it's before awful. the chorus I actually uh, think well, these kids are in it more than Bill and Ted We've never seen left -hand technique like that. whose idea was that no. hey, who's ruining everything in this way Crazy, Remember when The Expendables skills, was good, dude. one, two, and then three, they had to have younger people and nobody gave a shit, and they were just like, get out, it was like, get out of the way, so we can look at the old people, please? This is what it says. Oh. T? B. Oh. To appeal to the younger crowd, right? It's so stupid. Like, Brady Bunch, when they Dads, had to get a younger kid? Is there something Cousin you Oliver? You always need a newer, younger kid? On the TV shows, growing pains, and they have a baby, and that always fixes everything, right? No. We really did 
did rock, didn't we? <laughs> Definitely did. <laughs> so they have to get the band back together, uh, right? Would you consider rejoining Wild Stallions? Seriously, if I really knew how to edit things, I would take this and just cut the kids right out. I would just have like Mozart and them just pop up somehow. <laughs> oh look, Mozart's here. Oh, Dennis. They almost left Dennis behind. Anyone know where MP46 is? Depends on your perspective. If you really think the group of the parts around, you gotta choose a place to dig it from. Me? What? Anyone know where MP46 is? Oh, people are teleporting from all kinds of time. Because they haven't done whatever they're supposed to do. Okay. Now I hate this movie. Uh -huh. I was just listening to a song. We're gonna unite the whole world. Ted, of course. That's how we're gonna unite them and get them to play along. I mean, how hard can it be to rock for that? The Marine is not as easy as it looks. Instead of 69! Whatever. I already said goodbye to the girls. But I want to stay here and dance. Dennis? Thanks, Kelly. Later, Later Dennis. Dennis. My name is Dennis. Got it. You say it? Okay, so I actually saw Keanu play with Dogstar once. God, how long ago now? 25 years ago? At the supper club, I think it was. Your father would be so proud of you. I mean, I'm sorry I don't like this movie. It's a shame because... It had a good premise. It was it was alright, and they just shouldn't have been the children shouldn't have been the key to everything. And I did not like the way they had them acting. I don't know. They needed a better director for actors or something because obviously Keanu and Alex knew what they were doing. You know, Death and whoever this robot man is, but everybody else needed some help with their acting. Unfortunately.
And they have... Yeah, so they had the Saturday Night Live guy in there for nothing. So he was barely in it. Why have somebody funny and then not allow them to be funny? And the kids, like I said, the kids being basically the stars of this movie. Dean Pariso, I don't know him. I don't understand, like, this was supposed to be saying something about world peace or something, or everybody singing together, which is fabulous, fine, whatever, but the movie still ended up sucking. It shouldn't have. It shouldn't have, but the execution was bad. The kids were bad, the execution was bad. Like I said, there were parts that were just too quiet, it didn't make sense. A Steven Soderbergh. <laughs> Where'd that name come from? Okay, but anyway. Yeah, unfortunately. William Sadler, that's the name of the guy, right? The death guy? Um. All the parts of the piano, yeah, the death, death guy, the death robot. The other thing with the um the great ones, they should have had recognizable faces. Okay, Holland Taylor, but you know the other people could have been people we recognized. Like back in the day, it was George Carlin and, and Clarence Clemens. I don't remember who the third person was. It was a weird looking guy, but could have been people we recognized just to say, oh, they're great because we know them. Yeah, there's a lot of little things here and there that just Guillermo. You know what I mean? It's just, it really looks, some of it looks thrown together. And it's just like, if they took out a lot of this extra crud, it would have, but this like, all the world together thing kind of ruined it. Hate to say. There was a point where I was like, if it had just been Bill and Ted, you just take out all the Bill and Ted parts, I could have given it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> like, just those, but then I was like, you have to take out for the kids. So you got to take two points out for the kids. It's a 6. But it was worse than that. But I'll still give it a 6 out of 10 because it's Bill and Ted. But honestly, it should be like a 5.5 or below. And I, I'm not one to give scores like that, but kind of to me it did not uphold the Bill and Ted tradition of awesomeness I think it's very sad why why would they why would they focus on the kids that much what is this world where everything has to focus on my generation did this where they made everything about their children meanwhile when I was a kid growing up we watched things that were with older people everything didn't have to be about children I don't I don't know what to say just to me there's it could have been great it could have been great if you just took out the children sad